In today's video, we'll be looking at Nifty and how it has reached oversold levels. And also we'll be looking at how it has reacted whenever it has done so in the previous instances. So let us first look at what is happening right now. As of today on today's opening, post a 300 point drop in Dow Jones. What we have seen is RSI has touched 30 after a span of almost somewhere closer to September. And that is when we made 5100. So in oversold terms, we've gone back to similar levels. Although this time around the drop is only somewhere closer to 400 points. Now let us look at previous instances. So we'll go back to the start of this somewhat of a bull move or the main move which started from 4500 levels. And we'll see over the last two years how has the market reacted after touching oversold zones. So let us look at the first instance. In this case, the first time we see RSI drop here since 2012 or somewhere in the end of 2011. Now in this case, we did hit RSI lower levels on this day. Now if I go back and zoom into this zone, what happened post it? It made another low in the next two days. And from this band, it gave a bounce off from the lows of almost 46.90 to a high of 5100. That's a bounce of 400 points. So that's our first instance. Now, once we have hit 30 RSI does not mean we have bottomed out. So generally there are three types of bottoming out when we see on RSI. Generally on Nifty, what has been the observation is one, it bounces off right away. The second is it makes a new low, makes a positive divergence. And the third one is again a new low with a positive divergence. So basically we get a couple of divergences post the low. So what happened post this one was we hit a new low here, but RSI, we hit a new low here at 4530. But RSI was higher than this previous lows. It made a bottom around somewhere higher to 30. Now in this case, from the lows of 4530, we saw a sharp pullback in the next few days to 4800, almost 250 points. Then again, a little dip to 4640. And then the whole move started. Now this move was almost a thousand points one. So what we see is after a month or so of forming a low of RSI at 30, we found a bottom which lasted for quite some time. Then post that we even went to overbought levels all the way to 75, 80, which is our higher range, but we'll discuss it in some other video, some other time. The next time we hit RSI lows was here in May. Somewhere when we made a low closer to 4800, 4850. Then we made again a bounce closer to 5020, almost 200 points. Then we made another low with a margin of only 20, 30 points out here. And the RSI was much higher. So that's a classical positive divergence that led to a move to 5300 from 4800 in a span of a month, month and a half. So that's like almost a 500 point plus move. And that also created the big move all the way to 5700 and higher. Post that the next time when we hit RSI zone of 30 was in February out here. Now, if you look in this case, we tested the bottoms for two, three sessions and then it started a bounce from the lows of 5660 to a high of 5970. Now, again, this is 300 points. Previous bounces were around 250 to 400 points. Again, 300 points. Post that, again, it dipped. made a new low somewhere closer to 30 RSI. We could term it as a positive divergence because the new low was way lower at 54.87 compared to 56.60 almost 200 points. But RSI was at a similar level. 
then again a minor low or same low is being tested in the next few days and then the rsi was much higher if we look at this instance on a much smaller time scale now this led to a move of from the zones of 5500 to all the way to new highs to 6200 in a span of month and a half and we went to 70 rsi levels positive which is like very close to oversold zones so that's again a 700 pointer bounce and this again happened after a month month and a half of hitting first rsi of 30 so short term bottoming happened in one one and a half months then we saw faster transitions out here the next dip to rsi of 30 Now, even in this case, if we look at this day, the low was somewhere closer to fifty six eighty. In the next three sessions, we went to fifty eight sixty. So that's again a one fifty pointer bounce only. Then we made a new low, a much new deeper low at fifty five sixty six. Again, two hundred points lower. But RSI was at a similar level. This led to a bounce. all the way to 6100 almost so a bounce of almost 500 points in this case the only difference is it happened between in a span of 2 weeks unlike before where we took 1 1 and a half month to make a short term bottom for a 500 700 point bounce then we again saw a quick transition to 30 rsi until now it was at a difference of around 6 months but this time around it has been faster out here we made a new low a new rsi again a new low next day and we bounced back from the lows of 5486 to 5750 again a 250 points bounce so what we have seen the first time we hit rsi low of 30 we see a 150 to 400 or rather 300 points bounce and then a new low and then we need to look for divergences so in this case again a new low positive divergence again from the zones of 5250 it went to 5520 again a bounce of 250 300 points then the final one which is the third low at 5100 and a much higher rsi which is a clear cut positive divergence and the third one is the easiest one to trade because your probability of a bounce is much more higher so generally in divergences the first divergence is a bit tricky but the third one is definitely the best one now in this case from 5100 we went all the way to 6100 in a span of 3 weeks and again in this case it took a month or less than a month almost 3 weeks to make a durable bottom at 5100 now again post september in february today after almost 6 months this is the first time nifty has touched a rsi of 30 now if we look at the previous instances the conclusions come to be if we follow the same pattern a bounce of 150 to 250 points maximum of 300 points then a similar low which could be something like 4800 a retest of the same low or a new low like what happened at 5100 and a higher rsi which is a positive divergence and then we make a major short term bottom so what we get is in the short term from current zones one needs to be cautious also we are forming a lot of dojis on the way down and a lot of gap downs so what we see is right now one needs to be cautious with the shorts second there can be a bounce of 150 to 300 points also post that if we make a new low that could be a major short term bottom now as we notice a lot of people here even including me we have been looking towards a breakdown of the previous low at 5970 out here which has been a critical reason for a lot of people to turn short 
or a stop loss set. Now let us look at previous instances. So what I'll do is first thing I'll remove the trend lines because now we may all remember the bottoms. So let us look at what has been the characteristic of such lows. For example, when we look at 5100, multiple lows got broken here. First we got a bounce, then lows got broken and then a bottom out. That was one. Again in this case, this was the other RSI 30 low. The low being broken by a small margin, filling up this gap. Can we clearly see this? The low being broken and almost sustaining for three days. Even in the case of 2011, multiple lows got broken in this period before a major turnaround happened. Then one more thing which we look into is generally what happens with the trend lines. So this was one of the major important trend lines which everyone was following. Out here at 4800 it almost looked like a breakdown. Then post the low of 4800 we would shift it here. Then again at 5100 we saw this trend line being broken and then we suddenly saw a full reversal. At this point even I expected we could have gone back to 5000 levels or maybe even tested 4900 to 5100. We did 5100, we did not go to 5800. And it bounced back so sharply, wherein we were struck in our shots. But luckily this dip from 6100 took care of it, which was this dip. Now again, what we are seeing is a classical new low being made, a breakdown. from the recent lows. We might stay here for a few days. So the setup is very clear. So the next one month could be interesting on a short term basis. We could be looking at a major short term bottom also. More importantly, the risk reward is now tilting out of favor for the shots. Also, whenever we've seen this bottoming out, we see stocks bottoming out in the first instance of RSI hitting the lows. Post that some of the index constituents make new lows, but a lot of broader market stocks tend to make lows in this period. So what I saw at 1500 was like if we look into this index out here, maybe we'll get an idea, which is August, September. If we look here, all the three bottoms in this period were almost the same. Like this bottom out here was 64.13. This day it was 63.30. But at the same time when we go to Nifty, After this first hit, somewhere here, of somewhere closer to 5486, we went almost another 380 points lower at 350 points lower at 50 and 20. But in case of mid cap, it did not happen similarly. 
so mid caps actually bottomed out just when it hit the first lows a lot of stocks would have bottomed out because the index has so here we end the presentation so let's hope we are looking at a lot of opportunities on the trading side on the long side and the short side thanks a lot